I'm testing Prime, Joyride, Feastables, Chamberlain Coffee, and Lunchly to see how they taste. And I'll send a review to each creator telling them what I think about their product. Don't let me down, guys. First up, Prime Hydration. I purposely picked a flavor I've never had before. This is Speed's flavor. As you can tell, it says Suey, and I'm gonna try it. I don't even know what flavor it is. Okay, Dragon Fruit Acai. Okay, here we go. Hear that. It's always satisfying opening bottles. It smells good. It's exactly like you would think it smells. We all know Prime. I'm just gonna give it a try. See what it tastes like. It's pretty good. I can definitely taste the dragon fruit flavor. Hmm. It's like a weird aftertaste. Hmm. It says shake well before opening. I definitely didn't do that. Let's see if it changed the taste. Oh wow, it tastes completely different. Psych. It tastes the same. But no, it tastes good, but there is like a kind of a weird, there's a weird taste. I don't know, maybe it's the coconut water coming out. There is like a weird aftertaste. Other than that, it's pretty good. Prime Energy. It's a cool looking can. It's got like doodles on it i dig it zero sugar energy drink has electrolytes in it i definitely dig the can though this is the original flavor let's give it a shot nice i can't tell what that smell is I don't know. It doesn't have a really, it's like nothing crazy, no crazy flavor. It just tastes like, it kind of tastes similar to a monster, like a sugar-free monster. But I haven't had a monster in a while, like a long time, so I could be wrong. Really nothing special. It just kind of tastes like a normal energy drink, but cool can, really cool can. I'd buy it again. Joyride. This is Ryan Trahan's new candy, and supposedly it's made with better ingredients. It's a plant-based candy. No junk, amazing taste, uncommonly good. I'll be the judge of that, Ryan. I'll be the judge. Here we go. Not a strong smell. Doesn't really hit you with a super strong smell. Trying the sour blue raspberry strips, the sour pink lemonade strips, and the sour strawberry ropes. This kind of blows me away, but there are three servings per container and each serving is only 70 calories. So four pieces is a serving and these are like pretty, pretty big. The nutrition facts on this candy is much better than like normal candy, mainstream, big candy. Boom. This right here is a quarter of a serving and each serving is 70 calories. So it's kind of crazy. All right. Let's try it. Wow. That's actually pretty good. It doesn't taste bad at all. That definitely competes with like the main candy giants out there. This one's solid. 80% less sugar too. That's crazy. Sour blue raspberry strips, joyride. We're gonna try the sour pink lemonade strips. Calories are the same on this one. Ryan Trahan's pick. Hmm. They replace high sugar with prebiotic fiber. Uncommonly good, all right, let's see. All right, wow, here we go. Boom. These are better. The sour pink lemonade tastes way better than the sour blue raspberry strips. Mm-hmm. So far, that's my favorite thing I've tried so far. Sour strawberry ropes. Let's try it. If I can tear it up. This side. Nope. Nice. Right. There we go. Boom. Strawberry ropes. Oh, mm, look at that. Serving size, four pieces. So this is almost a full serving right here. And this isn't even 80 calories.
Not as good as the sour pink lemonade strips. This is my least favorite, but still good. Next up, Emma Chamberlain's coffee. I've never had it. So I'm excited about trying it. Three different flavors that I'm gonna try. Here in a little bit, I'm gonna see how these Carl's gummies stack up against Joyride. Same flavor, so sour blue raspberry. But first, I'm gonna try Emma Chamberlain's coffee. We got a mocha, a salted caramel, and a cinnamon bun. I'm gonna try Emma Chamberlain's mocha coffee. To do this properly, I need a cup of ice. I'll be right back. Smells delicious. It is with oat milk. All right, let's try it. See, I'm not a big fan of oat milk, but the mocha part tastes delicious. It's good. I would drink the whole thing. That was really good. Next up, salted caramel, sweeter recipe. Let's see how it tastes. Whoa. Whoa. Maybe the taste will make me say whoa too. Hmm. good. I'm not a fan of oat milk though. I'm just not a big fan of oat milk. Let's try the cinnamon bun. They all have oat milk in them, which is uh, not good for Matt. Not good for me. Sweeter recipe. Okay. Let's see if this one actually tastes like a cinnamon bun. It smells like it. Ooh. I taste a lot of, uh, I taste the cinnamon, but it tastes chemically, tastes like chemicals. Tastes like chemical cinnamon, which is shocking because the ingredients she uses are actually pretty solid. Sunflower oil, that's questionable. I'll give it one more try. Okay. This is my least favorite of the three, the cinnamon bun. Let's see the mocha without the ice. Lame compared to the salted caramel. Emma Chamberlain salted caramel latte takes the cake for my favorite coffee of hers out of these three. Nice. Now I'm gonna try these. Let's see which one's better. I'm gonna start with cookies and cream, that's my favorite. That looks good. That looks real good. Mmm. Look at that. Mmm. Let me try it. Mm-hmm. 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 Delicioso. Milk crunch. Out of these two, out of these two, I like the milk crunch better. Before we try the drippy cheese lunch leaf, we're gonna see how Carl's gummies from Feastables stack up to Joyride. Let's open this thing up. Boom. Take a look inside. Boom. Mmm. 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 Nah, aftertaste is not good. I don't like the aftertaste. Ryan Trahan sour blue raspberry candy. 
better than Carl's sour blue raspberry candy and Matt Payton's opinion. No offense, Carl. Good job, Ryan. Time to try Lunchly. I've never had Lunchly, but I've heard that the cheese is drippy. Bruh. So we're gonna give it a shot. I like my cheese drippy, bro. So if it ain't drippy, we're gonna have a problem. And I'm gonna leave you a very detailed review, Lunchly, that I'm not happy. My cheese better be drippy or else I will not be happy. Lunchly. Let's open up this Lunchly. Take a look inside. What does it look like? We got a Prime staring at us. Already tried that. Don't need to try it again. And then we got Leave No Crumbs. Lunchly. Leave No Crumbs. Let us open the Lunchly. Mmm. Boom. We got the cheese, the salsa, the chips, and a little mini Feastables chocolate bar. The ultimate test is we need to see if the cheese is actually drippy. All right. So far, it seems like it's gonna be drippy. Yep, yeah, cheese is drippy, bro. Cheese is drippy. All right, let's try it, let's try it. After the next drip. Boom. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You're not doing it right if you don't get like a ton of chips and then and then dip. Mm-hmm. Nice. Comment. I like my cheese drippy, bro. Really can't go wrong with that. And then if you're a real one, this is what you do. You dip your chip in the drippy cheese. And then in the salsa. Mmm. That salsa is better than I expected. Y'all sleep. People sleep on the salsa. I haven't heard much about it. That cheese is good and drippy. But that salsa though. That salsa though. Tastes like a chocolate bar. It's good. Like my cheese drippy, bro. If you enjoyed this video and you like your cheese drippy. Please consider dropping a follow and a like. I'm a Chamberlain. Your coffee's pretty good, even though I don't like oat milk. Thank you and I'll see you in the next video.